Hi, my name is Lizzie, and today I'm so excited to be making some cat-tastic treats inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. Yay! I'm making the snacks that Gabby and Pandy had at Kitty Fairy's sleepover. But first, I need to get sleepover ready. Oh my gosh, my ears look just like Gabby's. But now that I look like Gabby, I need a Pandy. Hug attack! Pandy! To really make this a kitty fairy sleepover, I need a sleeping spot. Wow! It's a meowsing! It's fantastic! I love it! Now that my room is ready, it's time to make some kitty fairy sleepover snacks. The first thing I'm making today is some rainbow fairy popcorn. Popcorn! Yay! <laughs> All you need is four bowls of popcorn and candy melts. I'm going to start with purple. My mom is going to heat it up just to make sure it's not too hot. So now I'm going to start pouring this in the first bowl of popcorn. Oh wow, it's coming down in globs. Okay, now to mix. Popcorn and chocolate, that's an awesome combination. I think it looks really pretty, and it smells good too. Now, I'm going to spread the popcorn out on a piece of parchment paper so the coating can harden. Let's take it out. <laughs> I need to spread it evenly. Okay, now I'm going to put on some sprinkles. Sprinkles make everything better. I love it! I can't wait to eat it. Now, I'm going to do orange. This one did not melt as well, but let's try. So I'm going to put this much in, and it is very globby. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but that's okay. We can try it with the pink. Yay! Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, let's melt the blue one. Hope this one works too. Okay, I think that is good and mixed. Perfect. Now while the popcorn dries, I'm going to make some fizzy fairy juice. Welcome to Fizzy Fairy Juice Falls. Can we drink it? Of course! So I'm going to make about half of it sparkling water and the other half pink lemonade. Let's put this in. Oh, it's already fizzing. I love this. That looks like an awesome drink. And the most important part, the edible glitter. Oh, that was a lot. I'm going to mix that. That's so pretty. And it's fizzing even more, I can hear it. It's so pink and glittery. It looks like a planet storm. Now it's time to assemble the rainbow kitty popcorn in my popcorn container. And some pink. And blue. Can't wait to try it. I think that's good. It's gonna fall off otherwise. <laughs> Look at my cute snacks. Now it's time to eat them together. Mm. This is so good. And now for some fizzy fairy juice. That's so good. I even can taste the fizz. Mmm, fairy-tastic! These would be great sleepover treats or just fun activities to do with friends. I had so much fun recreating Kitty Fairy Sleepover and I hope you had fun watching. Try making these treats yourself and be sure to watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. Hi, I'm Lizzie. Today, I can't wait to follow along with a fun, relaxing craft from Gabby's Dollhouse. 
I'm making squishy, squeezy glow masks. Squishy, squeezy glow masks? Try saying that three times fast. Squishy, squeezy glow mask. Squishy, squeezy glow mask. Squishy, squeezy garbage. <laughs> okay, now let's get started. For my squishy, squeezy glow masks, we need avocado, lemon, and honey. Let's give it a go. What do we do first, Kiki? The first thing we do is scoop out the avocado with a spoon. Scoop and scoop and in with the swoop. Scooping out avocado, scooping out avocado. But now I'll mash it up. Okay, this is fun. What's next? Now here comes the fun part. You use your hands to mush and mash the avocado. Oh, oh. that's very mushy. <laughs> nice. <Ugh. laughs> this is fun but strange at the same time. Then we squeeze in a dash of lemon and then a drop of honey. Then mush and mash again. So we mush and mash and mix in a dash of lemon and a drop of honey. Lemon and a drop of honey. Mush and mash with us. Mush and mash and mix in. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, now I'm gonna follow Gabby's steps. Do you like my mustache? <laughs> First, you draw a mustache. How do I look? Do I look awesome? I think it's gonna work. I'm not sure, but probably. Only one way to find out. Okay, now I need to leave the mask on for five more minutes and then I'll wash it all away. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see the results. <gasps> it worked, I'm glowing. Look at my face. If you want to do a relaxing craft, you should try this too. For more fun crafts, check out Gabby's Dollhouse. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi there. Hope you're ready for another amusing episode of this show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's Dollhouse. Gabby has tons of catastic adventures in the many rooms of her dollhouse. Today, we're heading to the garden where Kitty Fairy is hosting a sleepover. Hope you're ready for a little garden magic. If this is your first time at a Kitty Fairy sleepover, you're in for a fairy-rific time. When it's PJ time at a Kitty Fairy sleepover, all you need to do is pick some from the tree. I've already built the rainbow tree in the garden of my dollhouse, so now it's time to craft some pajamas. There are all kinds of pajama patterns to choose from.
Some pajamas are high on the tree and some hang off the vines. Now that we've got our pajamas, it's time for a fairy garden snack! At Kitty Fairy Sleepover, we drink fizzy fairy juice and snack on rainbow fairy popcorn! Rainbow Fairy Popcorn is always best when it's freshly popped! And what refreshing drink goes with Kitty Fairy Popcorn? Fizzy Fairy Juice! Straight from Fizzy Fairy Juice Falls! To drink Fizzy Fairy Juice, you need a very special cup. A flower cup! Now we are ready for a tea party! Fairy-tastic! The next activity at a kitty fairy sleepover is Starry Story Time, which takes place at the sleeping spot. The sleeping spot has a large purple and pink rug with garden-tastic flowers on it. On top of the rug, everyone has their own sleeping bags. Candies has pickles and hot dogs. Pillow Cats has moons and stars. Gabby's has hearts. And Kitty Fairies has flowers. Now everyone is ready to koodle up for Starry Story Time. There's one more fairy-tastic finishing touch this sleepover needs. Kitty Fairy Sleepover has been a meowsing! <sighs> I'm off to take a cat nap! Come back soon to see me build more things in Gabby's dollhouse! Okay, who's ready to bakey with Cakey and make their personalized pizza cat pie? Me! Yummy! Mmm! I can't wait! Hey, what's this? Is this a special topping? That's a special ingredient, Cat Rat! Kitty Fairy gave it to me! It makes everything it touches bigger! Cool! I just want to take a sniff! <clears throat> this lid's hard to get off! <clears throat> Whoa! That's a big tomato! How are we going to make pizza with all these big ingredients? I know how! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Whoa! Yay! <laughs> We're going to be big too! Whoa. Oh, it will be fun to be this size for a while! Now we can make our big pizzas! Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's start by rolling out our dough into kitty faces! You can also spin and toss your pizza dough in the air to stretch it out! <laughs> Tail flip! What's next, Cakey? Spread out your sauce. I'm using tomato sauce, but you can make whatever sauce you like. White garlic sauce for me. I'll use barbecue. Pesto is perfect for me. 
I'll smother mine in hot sauce. Hacha! Next, spread a layer of cheese all over and cover with whatever toppings you want to eat. Because we're making pizza cats, we'll make the toppings look like a cat face. Oh, wow! Yummy! No cheese for me, thanks. Ooh! Time's up on the big magic. I hope everyone saved room for dessert. Because surprise, I made dessert pizza. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Cakey. It's so cute. I'll just add some hot sauce to mine. Cat rat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready to watch me build another room from Gabby's dollhouse. The dollhouse is in a meowsing place for Gabby and the Gabby cats to have all kinds of adventures. There are six catastic rooms to explore. So get cozy and koodle up to watch his iCraft Pillow Cat's bedroom. Pillow Cat loves to share stories with the dollhouse. When she's not telling stories, she's usually taking a cat nap. I'll start by making the walls and floor of the room. The walls are blue and the floor is green. The bedroom is full of books for Gabby and her friends to read. They're colorful and filled with so many different kinds of stories. The bookshelf is actually all along the bottom of the bed, where you can usually find pillow cat snoozing. If you gently wake her up, she might tell you a story in her story cloud. The story cloud is decorated with catastic lights. Isn't it dreamy? When everyone koodles up with Pillow Cat on the bed, the rainbow canopy surrounds the bed as Gabby and her friends imagine and play act all kinds of stories. tree that starts in the music room grows all the way up to the bedroom. purple door at the bottom where you can climb inside. This tree is decorated with more catastic lights.
and books hang from the branches. A rainbow tent sits on top of the tree. Another fun place to read is this egg-shaped chair. It hangs from the tree. This chair has kitty ears. And so does the other chair in the bedroom. This one has a white ear and an ear with a black tip, just like Pandy. <laughs> Stories can be extra silly when the Gabby cats act them out. Gabby and her friends ask the dress-up closet if they can come in. Then they jump into the closet and come out in an amusing costume. I need for Pillow Cat's bedroom. Oh, it's right in her name, pillows. On the bed, she has a unicorn kitty pillow, a cloud pillow, a rainbow pillow, and a star pillow. On the chair are cloud and heart pillows. And in the tent are kitty and sun pillows. Now that is one perfect bedroom. And the second floor of Gabby's dollhouse has been built. Now I think it's time for me to take a cat nap. Tune in next time to see me build more rooms from Gabby's dollhouse. Thank you for letting me, Pandy, and Baby Box camp out in your garden, Kitty Fairy. You're welcome, Gabby. It's fun to stargaze with friends. Let's lie down and look up at the sky. Wow! Look at all the stars. They sparkle in the sky like glitter. Ooh! Awesome! So pretty! Oh, no. I can't see the stars through the clouds. I guess that's the end of our stargazing. We can still stargaze by making our own stars. What do you mean by that, Baby Box? Come with me to the craft room. To the craft room! How do you make stars? I'll show you! Let's get crafting! For this craft, all you need is a flashlight or any light source, a hole puncher or pencil, and a piece of paper. I want to use a black piece of paper to look like the night sky. My hole puncher has a star shape, but any hole punch will do. Wowzers! Flowerific! Ooh! Potastic! Tastic! You can even use a pencil to poke holes in your paper. Make the holes wherever you like. It's supposed to look like a night sky full of stars. In a lit room, hold your paper and shine your flashlight down over it. 
you see the shadow stars on the table, you can shine your shadow stars on a wall or ceiling. If you want your stars to be bright, then turn off all the lights in the room and hold your flashlight close to your paper. Then the light will shine through your stars and you've made a starry night sky. Let's try out our craft by shining our flashlights through the paper and onto the walls of the room. All right, stargazers, let's give it a go. Let's turn our flashlights on at the count of three. One, two, three. Yay! Shadow stars. Yay! It worked! We're superstars. <laughs> Thanks for helping us stargaze on a cloudy night, baby box. Hey, look! Doodles and doodads, a shooting star. Whoa, it's a shower of shooting stars. Ooh, we saw stars in two very amazing ways. And this sleepover gets a gold star. Good night, bye. <gasps> look, <laughs> <This is fun. laughs> Hi, Gabby Cat friends. I'm Akira and I'm so excited to read you a story today. In this one, we're going to explore Gabby's magical dollhouse. Let's find out what's inside as we read Welcome to the Dollhouse. Hi, I'm Gabby, and this is Pandy Paws, Gabby said. Welcome to my bedroom. Isn't it a meowsing? Gabby smiled at her real life cat who was curled in his cat bed. And this is Floyd. The most cat-tastic thing in my bedroom is my dollhouse. All my Gabby cats live in here. Did you hear that sound? Gabby asked. That means it's time for the dollhouse delivery. Let's see what the surprise is today. Gabby pulled a package from her Meow Meow mailbox. Inside was a little kitty spaceship. Kitty fairy would love this, she said. Let's go into the dollhouse and show her. Gabby put on her magical cat ears. Then she sang this special song. A pinch on my left, pinch, pinch on my right. Grab Pandy's hand and hold on tight. A few seconds and many sparkles later, Gabby and Pandy Paws were tiny, just like the Gabby cats. They landed in the dollhouse in the fairy tale garden. Do you see Gabby in the fairy tale garden? She's right there. I'm over here, Gabby called. Come on in. Welcome to the dollhouse, Gabby said. First things first, let's find Pandy. Do you see him? Suddenly, Pandy jumped out from his hiding spot. Hug attack, he cried. Outside the dollhouse, Pandy is a stuffed animal, but inside, he comes alive. I thought I heard you two, said Kitty Fairy, another Gabby cat. Gabby showed her the spaceship. It's catastic, Kitty Fairy exclaimed. Just then, Cat Rat popped up from a secret tunnel. Hey, what's all the racket up here? He asked. Cat Rat climbed inside the spaceship. This is the shiniest cat bed I've ever seen, he said. Time for my cat nap. With that, he fell fast asleep and rolled onto the takeoff button. Oh no, how are we gonna get him down? Pandy asked. The floating spaceship reminded Gabby of Murcat's bubbles. Maybe Murcat has an idea, she said, to the bathroom. Gabby told Murcat all about the spaceship. Shimmering sea scales, Murcat said. I'm not sure my bubbles can help, but maybe Pillow Cat could find a way. She likes to nap as much as Cat Rat. Good idea, Murcat, Gabby said. Let's go find Pillow Cat. To the bedroom. Thanks, Murcat, Pandy said. In the bedroom, Gabby told Pillow Cat about the spaceship. When I need to think of a new idea, I rest my eyes and let my imagination take over, Pillow Cat said. Let's give it a go. Gabby cheered. Gabby closed her eyes and dreamed up an idea. When she opened her eyes, she said, thanks, Pillow Cat. I know who can help. To the kitchen. Oh, Sprinkles, 
Cakey Cat cried when he heard about Cat Rat. I don't know how to help, but baking always makes me feel better. Want to bake some sticky cat paws? They baked the treats, and Pandy put one in his pouch. Suddenly, the spaceship floated past the kitchen window. Oh no, Gabby said. Pandy, let's see if Baby Box can help. To the craft room. In the craft room, Gabby and Pandy asked Baby Box for help. I have a crafty horrific idea, Baby Box said. They worked to make a long chain to catch the spaceship. Now we know how to save Cat Rat, but we need to wake him up first, Baby Box said. I have an amusing idea. Pandy, to the music room, Gabby said. Gabby and Pandy found DJ Catnip at his turntables making music. DJ Catnip, we are hoping you can wake up Cat Rat, Gabby said. On it, DJ Catnip said. Let's turn the music up loud. It's the only thing to do. It was time to zoom to the fairy tale garden. In the playroom, Carlita sped over to meet them. Kitty Fairy told me Cat Rat is out of the dollhouse, she said. Do you want a ride? Gabby and Pandy hopped in. Thanks, Carlita. Let's go save Cat Rat. Outside the dollhouse, Cat Rat was finally awake. Get me out of here, he screamed. Floyd thought the spaceship was a cat toy. Gabby threw the chains they'd made to catch the spaceship, but they bounced off. Then, Gabby remembered the sticky cat paws they made with Cakey Cat. Pandy, any extra sticky paws in your pouch? She asked. Pandy pulled out a sticky paw, and Gabby stuck one to the end of the chain and threw it at the spaceship. It stuck! Together, everyone pulled Cat Rat back. Cat Rat, you're safe! His friend said. All the Gabby cats hugged him. Everyone was happy he was back. Gabby turned to her friends and smiled. Now, let's take this spaceship out for a proper spin. The end. I'm so glad they saved Cat Rat. For more of Gabby's adventures, be sure to watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. Hi there, I'm Akira, and I'm here to read you a Gabby's Dollhouse story. Today, Gabby and Pandy unbox a superhero surprise. Let's find out what kind of adventure is in store for them as we read Catastic Heroes to the Rescue. Today, Gabby opened a Catastic Dollhouse delivery. It was two superhero costumes. She wore one, and Pandy wore the other. We're the Dollhouse Defenders, she said. We'll protect the dollhouse from bad guys. Gabby put on her magical headband and sang her special song, the one that makes her tiny so she can enter the dollhouse. A pinch on my left, pinch, pinch on my right. Grab Pandy's hand and hold on tight! Gabby and Pandy landed in the kitchen where Cakey was baking. Excuse me, Cakey said. Super cookies coming through. Wow. Cakey, you're a super baker, Gabby said. Suddenly, Cat Rat, the bad guy, peeked out and said, Cookies? Cat Rat jumped onto the table. I'm going to trap every Gabby cat so all the cookies will be miney, he said. Cat Rat used his hide and seek ray to trap Cakey inside a recipe book. Oh no, Gabby exclaimed. Then Cat Rat laughed and dashed away. How are we going to get Cakey out of there? Pandy asked. First, we have to find him, Gabby said. They looked in the book and found Cakey on a page filled with smoothies. There he is, Pandy said. He pulled Cakey out with his tail. You found me, Cakey cheered. Suddenly, a shout came from the music room. That sounds like DJ Catnip, Gabby said. Cat Rat must be at it again. Let's go. I'm super stuck. DJ Catnip cried. Cat Rat had trapped him with his bungee ray. Gabby pulled on the bungee cords. When they wouldn't budge, she slipped and fell into the instrument tree. The red tambourines crashed to the floor. Then the red cords disappeared. Look, Gabby said. The cords go away when you play an instrument that's the same color as them. Gabby and Pandy played all the colorful instruments and set DJ Catnip free. 
Thanks, dollhouse defenders. DJ Catnip danced. Boogie over here and give me a high fall. Suddenly, they heard Kitty Fairy calling for help. To the fairy tale garden, Pandy said. Nothing personal, Kitty Fairy, but I want those cookies all for myself. Cat Rat said as he captured Kitty Fairy in a bubble. Gabby and Pandy tried to jump after her, so Cat Rat shrunk them with his shrink ray. Oh no! Pandy cried. We'll never reach Kitty Fairy now! We're too tiny! Gabby looked at the floating bubbles and had an idea. Jump with me, Super Pandy! They jumped from bubble to bubble until they reached Kitty Fairy. With a big hug, they popped her bubble and set her free! Thanks for saving me, Kitty Fairy said. Let's fly down. They landed on the ground safely. Now I'll grow you back to normal size with a little garden magic, Kitty Fairy said. When they were big again, Pandy's stomach rumbled. Time for a super snack, Gabby said. To the kitchen. In the kitchen, they found Cat Rat. Oh no, he said. I've shrunk myself with my shrink ray. Now this cookie is way too big. All right, Cat Rat, I can grow you back to regular size, Kitty Fairy said. As long as you promise that you won't do any more bad guy stuff. All right, all right, Cat Rat agreed. Here's to the dollhouse defenders, DJ Catnip said. I'll eat to that, Cat Rat said. The end. That was a catastic story. Thank you for reading with me. For even more adventures with the Gabby Cats, watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Yeah.